Hello and welcome everyone to this video series on SAP Datasphere training with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In this video series, we are going to cover an overview of SAP Datasphere and its capabilities with the live system demo. In our today's session, the topic is about what is SAP Datasphere. So we will talk about the introduction to what is SAP Datasphere and its benefits. So before we get started, smash the like button and also feel free to subscribe this channel. If you feel this content is going to help you, we will also update new videos every week regarding this topic for free on our YouTube channel. So let's get started with what is SAP Datasphere. So what is Datasphere? Also known as Data Warehouse Cloud. It was known as previous. So AKM is also called as in the past also known as Data Warehouse Cloud. So if you hear SAP Data Warehouse Cloud, it is actually the old name. The old name of Datasphere. Datasphere is the new name and this is the old name. When this name change happened, 2023 March is when this name change has happened. So don't get confused here. If sometime you hear your manager say, do you learn Data Warehouse Cloud? Yes, I did, which is now known as SAP Datasphere. So what is SAP Datasphere? Let's understand the term. SAP Datasphere is the next generation data warehouse cloud, enabling a business data fabric. It offers a unified experience for data integration, data cataloging, semantic modeling, warehousing, federation, and virtualization. I will teach everything in this training. So you will understand every meaning of every term and things yes, that we will be doing. Then a comprehensive data service built on SAP BTP. Remember, SAP BTP is the platform on top of it. This service is built. It enables every data professional to deliver seamless scalable access to mission critical data. So basically it will offer a seamless scalable access of mission critical data. Data is the new gold for company, right? So this will, uh, the, the main goal is to provide mission critical data from different different data sources to a centralized data system, which is SAP Datasphere. It allows us to coverage data coming from SAP and third party on-premise and cloud environment into a single, so this is a single source of data, fully managed cloud environment to allow your organization to radically simplify your data warehouse landscape. So if your company, let's say you are a company and you are innovating. So your company would need some data in the cloud because you are planning to build a mobile application and that mobile application cannot access data from your traditional BW on-premise system. You have access problems. Yeah. So some part of your data, you want to put it on the cloud which anyone can access, mobile application can also access, yes. So in that case, you can go and run Datasphere and SAP BW for HANA together in a hybrid mode, in a hybrid mode. So I'll talk about strategies in the next slide. It was first introduced in 2019 and then name change happened in 2023 March, you see. In March 2023, they have rebranded it as Datasphere. Previously, it was known as SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. As, a, as utilizers generate vast amount of data, Datasphere provide benefits such as scalability. Remember the cloud benefit is scalability, cost saving, no upfront investment, accessibility and data security. So it doesn't mean that your data is storing in the cloud doesn't secure. It is also secure. Utilities can adopt cloud only approach, a hybrid approach where only parts of the data warehouse move to the cloud or use BW bridge to leverage their existing investment of BW for HANA. So someone asked me Anubha, what about my existing BW for HANA system? Will it discontinue? So basically there are different modes of operation. I will teach you the modes of operation. We can go with hybrid mode or a BW bridge mode. Both of this is part of our training. I will cover both of them. So you will understand what are the different ways you to, to run. So on top of Datasphere, Analytic Cloud provide advanced analytics, planning, predictive capabilities, to enable data driven decision making. So then on top of Datasphere, you can use, you can, not mandatory, you can, you can use Analytic Cloud along with Datasphere. So Analytic Cloud is a reporting tool which allows you to basically report your data taken from Datasphere 
you can take live data from Datasphere and show it in Analytic Cloud with real-time business insights for different lines of businesses for top decision makers of the companies. So that is what Analytic Cloud will do to us. It is a reporting tool. It is a reporting tool. So next comes is what is exactly Data Warehouse benefit, Data Sphere benefits, what it offers, how it is beneficial for a company. So it is a secure environment supporting diverse data application, needs including real-time analytics, governed data access, data catalog and data science, which is machine learning. It offers spaces which are created and provisioned centrally to provide secure modeling environment for different departments or use cases. So it allows you different departments of your company to segregate their work. We can provide a good isolation with the help of spaces. We have a wide range of connections for SAP and non SAP software and on premise and the cloud software. So it is possible that you can go and connect with SAP and non SAP softwares to load data inside the data sphere. It has graphical low code, no code tools to support self service modeling needs of business users. So this is a tool which can, can also be used by non technical consultants who would like to do data modeling where they can combine different data sources, whether it is a replicated source or whether it is a remote source like a remote table and then we can build the business data model for data analysis and data mining. It is also include powerful built in SQL and data flow editors for sophisticated modeling and transformation needs along with support of third party tools and other IDEs. So suppose you bring the data from a ERP system where the dates are in the format of DDMMYYYY. Now it is important for you to store data in BW coming from different sources in a format of YYYY slash MM slash DD. So you can apply data transformation also including sophisticated modeling capability where you want to apply different levels of aggregations, you want to add calculation, calculated KPIs, you want to do conditional formatting or restricted measures or build hierarchies. All of these things are possible with the help of Datasphere. An embedded data marketplace to consume external data products to create internal data products. So many times we also need to rely on external data sources like currency rates. So currencies are fluctuating every second. You would want to do some kind of accounting. You want to build some kind of dashboard report or some kind of reporting you are interested to do. And to be able to do that, you would need currency rates which are stored maybe outside your data sphere system. So it is possible to explore the data which are outside your data sphere system and consume that external data products also in your company like currency rates, exchange rates, prices of stocks or prices of cryptocurrencies. You can also bring in all of that kind of external data into your data sphere, connect it with your internal data to make data products. It offers a user friendly data machine, uh, data matching environment to enrich existing data set with external data coming from data marketplace, CSV upload or third party data source. So along with uh, data modeling, you also have capabilities, intelligent capabilities wherein you can basically combine third party data sources with intelligent lookups. Suppose the data which is coming from an external system is uh, in the small letter and data in your internal system is in capital letter. Now when you apply the join, the join might fail. It may have problems. So you can actually also do intelligent lookups in the SAP data sphere. This is also part of our training. We will be covering in detail. It offers catalog support, self-service discovery of data and analytic assets, glossaries and terms and key performance indicator. So catalog is a very important point. Many times what we see that there is a requirement and we start developing it. After halfway through we realize that a similar requirement by developed already by my colleague in my another team. I could have reused that and built on top of it, but I have redid everything. You know, I reinvented the wheel. So I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that whenever we have, we want to use something, we need to make sure that something of that sort already do not exist. We want to reuse and develop on top of it. So that's why we have data catalogs available 
where you can look at the existing assets of your company and if any of the assets can be reused you definitely would like to do so yeah. so that is data cataloging we have multi-dimensional modeling with powerful analytical capability and built-in data preview so you can combine uh, facts dimensions yes all of these different things together and do data build data models a graphical impact and lineage analysis to visualize data movements, transformation and dependencies. Very important. Like in traditional BW, a where use list. Where is this model or this fact or this dimension is being used to find the data lineage so that you can check the dependencies and before you modify your data model, you can find the impact analysis of that. So that is something which is also provided by SAP Datasphere for graphical analysis of or data lineage where your data data movements have happened and transformation have happened cross space collaboration and sharing centrally governed sources for joining with local files external sources with support of low level security so suppose you have data of your sales organization it's a org data at many instances i would like to reuse this org data to do joins with other data sets so in that case this data i can keep it in one space and share this data outside my space with a scope. Let's say only show sales organization related to EMEA. So I could do that. So I can apply data security, low level data security, and expose a controlled access of my centralized data to another spaces to consume. Let's say HR department wants to consume some portion of my, my org data. I could do that with the help of, with the help of cross space collaboration. Then reuse and, my, uh, and migration of trusted and governed meta and data model residing in a on-premise warehouse system and SAP SQL data warehouse implementation. So you have done a lot of investment already on BW and BW for HANA. So now that information is already there in your on-premise system. You want to also leverage that information, how you build the metadata model in your existing BW system. So we can integrate with BW Bridge and we can fetch in this information right into data sphere to reuse it so also this we will be covering in our unit number 16 in this training seamless integration with analytics cloud excel and also offering public odata api to support consumption by other client tools and apps so this is also a great feature where sap analytic cloud is a different product provided by sap it's a separate subscription and you can utilize Datasphere and NLT Cloud hand to hand together to basically do reporting also. And reporting has been made very easy by SAP using SAP NLT Cloud, which is a again a low code, no code tool, which allows business users, non technical consultants to also do reporting. So broadly, if you look at these are the main advantages or so called feature sets which we will be utilizing as part of SAP Datasphere. All right. So thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of SAP Datasphere. As usual, please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on SAP Datasphere, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP BTP, UI5 Fury, or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud. So do not forget to visit www.anubautrainings.com. Also, shoot us an email on contact at anubotrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that, Anubhav signing out. Once again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next episode.